if virtual reality is a wilderness, then user interface or UI is sort of like the trails that get you through it. Uh, so in this hubs scene, we've got a forest or wilderness and various trails that lead around the hills and take you to different locations, signposts, waypoints within it. So first, some familiarization with the controls. If you've ever played with old school video games, you can hit the W, A, S, and D keys to move around. That's up, left, back, and right, respectively. Uh, you can left click and look around. Or you can right click to use teleportation, which allows you to kind of skip a certain distance ahead in your general direction that you're looking. Now if you hit the space bar, you'll see various controls pop up in front of you. But one thing you'll see are these white people icons with circles around the bottom. And if you click on one of those, it allows you to warp to that location. These are particular points of interest within the experience. Uh, if you ever need a further run through of the controls, you can hit the question mark icon in the bottom right and get a full tour. If there are any people in the hub space, you'll see them by clicking in the upper right. And you can chat to them using the chat window down at the bottom. If you want to add something to the scene, you can click the plus icon and upload it from your computer, or you can hit the wand and browse various models, avatars, GIFs, etc. from the web and place them into the scene. Now you may notice that uh, the content on these signposts is pretty small. In order to view it larger once you've played it, just point at it and right click and it will bring it up full screen in your field of view. Now, as you walk around, if you want to walk faster, hit the shift key. And if you want to be able to leave the ground, you can toggle the fly mode. So, for example, if I want to get a bird's eye view, I can head up here towards the sky, look down on the entire environment, and see everything there is to see. Let's return to the ground. That's all we're going to cover for controls right now. This experience is about user interface, so feel free to start wandering around and watch some of the videos and interact with some of the objects in this wilderness to familiarize yourself with best practices for creating good user interfaces in VR. Have fun.